you guys know me, you know that I take my YouTube channel very seriously. This is something that I'm super passionate about. And when I was growing this channel, I was posting one video every single day. So seven videos a week. And it was something that really helped scale my YouTube channel. The first year I did that, I got around a thousand subscribers and I hadn't really even been monetized yet. Half a year after that, I was finally able to get monetized and see my first couple dollars come in from YouTube, but it really didn't start clicking until January of 2021. So January of 2021 through February of 2022 was really the heyday of my YouTube career. And it was a little over a year of posting on average four to five YouTube videos every single week. I'd amassed an impressive 2.4 million YouTube views, and for a small channel like myself at the time, it gained me nearly 50,000 subscribers in just over a year, and I was able to generate $54,885 in YouTube AdSense revenue alone that year. Now to give you some context, my best month actually came in February of 2021, where I amassed 450,000 views and I generated close to $10,000 in a single month. Now at this point in my life, I felt like I was on top of the world, like I couldn't do anything wrong. My plans to work towards financial freedom were coming true in front of myself, but also being validated by everybody who was watching alongside of it. As my YouTube subscriber numbers were growing and as I was connecting and engaging more with the community, so was my stock portfolio. So was the money I was taking in. And it seemed like a success story for just your average everyday person. You see, it's always been my mission to achieve financial independence and be truly financially free. This is demonstrated by the countless videos on my channel where I talk through not only my investments, but my strategies and my ultimate plan to get to the top financially. Now in a mission to get there a little bit quicker, I decided that, hey, I'm making some decent money now. I should try to invest in real estate. And so it has always been my dream and I've followed so many other YouTubers, so many people who have been successful in their careers, not just YouTubers, but in my own personal life. And how did they do it? Well, they did it through real estate. It's free real estate. So that's always been something I've been passionate about and wanted to get into. And so yeah, it was my goal to buy a duplex, lightly renovate it, and be well on my way with another step towards financial freedom. But this is where everything ended up getting derailed. I was smart in only putting 3.5% down and saving the rest for renovation costs, but I was not smart in my budgeting for the renovation. I had initially budgeted $30,000 for the complete renovation. And to be honest, coming from a kid who had barely picked up a hammer and a nail in his life, this was already something that was way above my pay grade that I shouldn't have been trying to do right off the bat by myself. You fast forward to where I am today sitting in this chair right now, I am $115,000 into this renovation and it's finally complete, but boy, this has been a massive speed bump in my road towards financial freedom. Now listen, I know that backstory is probably not the reason why you clicked on this video and you're probably wondering about this channel that had been dormant for about six months, 180 days. I had completely removed all engagement. There were no posts and there was no attempt to be consistent with this channel. What would happen to the overall revenue over that time period? Well, over that 180 days, I hit my breaking point and I couldn't build up the courage to post another YouTube video. But today that changes. And I think to ease myself back into this, I just wanna talk about how much I was able to passively make through this YouTube channel during the last six months. All right, now I just wanna jump right into the stats here on my YouTube studio so you can see exactly what's going on. This is the lifetime that I have pulled up for the history of the channel, 2.9 million views, 360,000 watch hours, 50,000 subscribers, with an estimated revenue close to $63,000. Uh, so really, I am uh, quite proud of the stats that I have there, but you're gonna notice something as time kind of went on. So 2021, an incredible year on this YouTube channel, really the foundation of how it was started and uh, you know, gotten the algorithm and picked up the pace. But you'll notice here in 2022, this is when things started to taper off. Uh, actually, one of these videos here in February, February 21st, why I'm selling my stocks was a video that I had posted. And this was sort of the first time that my channel ever saw a large gap. So about one month later, uh, a video was posted about my duplex renovation update. So that was right around the time that I actually got the property and started working on those renovations. And I didn't realize that it would take so much time and effort away from the YouTube side of things that I really just, I couldn't get around to making these videos. I was full on burnout trying to finish these projects and I thought I'd be done so much quicker than I actually was. So you'll notice the gap then goes from March all the way to May. And again, after being so consistent, finally getting my footing in the algorithm, this is where my channel started to tank. And you can see that with the stats going down. For the entire year, I made around $5,100 from uh, YouTube uh, AdSense revenue. And you gotta remember that I still was doing affiliate marketing during this time. 
So I was making additional income from that. And I'd say just pretty much double the estimated revenue. And that's typically what I'm on track for in terms of how much additional income is coming through. So that entire year, I got 215,000 views with 19,000 watch hours. So that's really a drastic difference from 2021, where it was the foundation of my channel. Now, if I go into this custom time range, and I'll talk about what's going on here in 2023. So you'll notice right off the bat, there is a huge gap in activity. I'm on pace to do about half of what I did last year in terms of revenue, which is uh, really kind of depressing right now. Uh, but again, it's what you get out of it, what you're putting into it. So love to get this back on track a little bit here. But anyways, 43,000 views. This is just completely passive. I wonder why this spiked here. I made $28.29 on this particular day. Watch time was up to 3.8 thousand hours and my subscriber actually losing subscribers. It's pretty depressing to see that number go down. But again, that's what happens when something falls to the wayside like this and you haven't been able to pick it back up. Something that I like checking out is going into advanced mode and I can see what is historically performing well. So this video I made actually the second best one in uh, March of 2021, still in the YouTube algorithm. This one does really well seasonally as we get close to tax season because it talks about taxes and how to file them. You'll notice that a lot of my tutorial videos, Acorns, Investing, Beginner's Guide, still from 2021, I mean, I should update this thumbnail, make it look like it's 2023. It would probably do a little bit better in the algorithm for YouTube. And I'd love to just kind of revamp some of these videos, remake them, remaster them, if you will. And I think that I could get them picked up back in the algorithm again. After working so hard to get it going, I think that, you know, putting in the legwork and knowing how to run a successful channel, I think that I could eventually pick that back up. What did I learn from this six months or, you know, close to almost two years, it feels like at this point with the renovation, a break from YouTube. Well, I learned a couple key things about YouTube in itself. Number one is consistency is key, especially for this channel where it was built around four to five videos a week. That's a sweet spot and I'd love to get back there. The second thing is evergreen content is huge. And the things like application overviews, investment uh, applications, things like that for this channel is definitely the route to go. They see the most success. They get the most viewerships, the most people subscribe from them. That's how I've been getting my name out there historically. And they resonate the most over time. And not to mention, they actually generate the most revenue as well. So I think being timely with the content that I'm posting and not just being locked into the here and now for that would be key as well. I think that something else that I kind of learned personally is that I can't let the situation that I'm in necessarily rule my life at all times. In building this uh, duplex from the ground up kind of, and uh, in letting this channel fall to the wayside, I wish that I could redo things and kind of bring it along with me. The problem was I reached a point of so much burnout and I really felt like a huge hypocrite on this channel. It's something that really bothered me was I was talking about solid financial investments, ways to handle your money, a track towards uh, you know financial independence and freedom. But here I was making all of these ginormous money mistakes. I think I learned a lot during this process that a lot of other people could also benefit from. So I'd like to talk about them in future videos as well. And at the time, it didn't seem like that was going to be an option. It seemed like I just kept making mistake after mistake. And it was something that, you know, I wasn't necessarily used to, especially in documenting my journey. I am so happy to uh, be back making some videos here. And, uh, you know, hopefully there's going to be some success with the channel alongside of that. But at the end of the day, what I want to do is continue charting that journey towards financial freedom. And I want to take as many people alongside of me as I possibly can to get us there. Because, you know what, literally, if I can do it, any of you can as well. And so with that, I just want to say thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I'm very happy to be back. If you made it this far, I would appreciate a like, just a little bit of support. And for those people who have supported me throughout this time, you know, even when I wasn't necessarily being consistent on YouTube, you come back to this video, you come back to this channel. It means a lot. So many people were commenting, just checking in saying, hey, how's it going? Haven't heard from you in a while. Those things really actually kept me uh, moving forward in this time where I was a little bit lost with uh, with some of my purpose. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Really appreciate it and have a great day.